I get any red stains anywhere in here, especially the walls, my mother will murder me. <laughs> what is up and welcome back to my channel by the way do you guys like my rainbows it makes my room look super cute and it's nice and sunny out so my sun catchers are doing their thing I'm dyeing my hair today it's been quite a while since I've dyed my hair so I think it's time so as you guys can see I have some faded purple color going on right now and if you guys didn't know Lately, I've been dyeing my hair red, although purple still remains to be my OG color. It's just fun to kind of like switch it up every now and then, so that's why I've been kind of going in with red. It's a nice little break from the purple. So in the past, I have made a video where I dye my hair purple, but I think it was a little bit more on the informative side, and today I wanted to do something different. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little timeline of all the hair colors I've had, and kind of just share with y'all the history I've had with my hair. So before I start dyeing my hair red, I'm gonna go through my old phones, which I have here. I'm gonna look through them and see if I can find any old pics of me with different hair colors or hairstyles. Whatever pics I find, I will post them up as I am dyeing my hair. And I will give you a little breakdown or history of that particular hair color or style. Alright y'all, so I am back in my very very white bathroom in which if I get any red stains anywhere in here, especially the walls, my mother will murder me. I've done it plenty of times before. I think I got this, I just gotta be like extra careful because red and purple hair, which were the main colors I've had, are the worst to get out. It took me almost three hours to go through my old phones, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, just to get all these pictures I'm about to show y'all for my little timeline. I took the time to lay out my hair timeline in my notes on my phone, and yeah, it's a lot. And I didn't think it was gonna be a lot, but it's okay, cause dyeing your hair isn't really the fastest thing to do. So at least this will keep me occupied and hopefully by the time I'm done dyeing my hair, I'm done reading through this list. So let's get started. So the hair dye I'll be using today is the Joico Color Intensity in the color Ruby Red, which is a semi-permanent hair color. So that means eventually this hair dye is going to fade out. So my hair dyeing journey started in 2011. I had turned 14 that year and my mom allowed me to get some cute little blonde streaks on the back of my head. And from what I remember, I'm pretty sure I kept it like that for a good while. Damn, y'all are gonna see younger me in these pics. And from what I remember, I think I had the blonde streaks for, for a good while. I didn't do anything to them, I just let them be blonde. And then it wasn't until July of 2012, I had turned 15 that month, my mom allowed me to re-dye my streaks and dye them purple. And I also cut my hair into that like scene haircut. Sometimes I can't believe I went through that phase. But eventually I started to grow out of it. Um, it was a lot of maintenance. I always had to touch up like my bangs. I always had to touch up and freshen up the layers. And I think I eventually got bored of it. So around like February 2013, I started to just let my scene haircut grow but I was still touching up my streaks with purple hair dye. It wasn't until April of 2014 when I decided to do something new with my hair. My streaks had already grown out and everything. They were at the very ends of my hair at the time. So I was like, mm, it's time for something new. What I ended up doing was giving myself a new streak, but instead of having streaks in the back of like my head or like around the nape, I decided to give myself one solid streak like on the side of my hair kind of like that blonde Wiz Khalifa streak all those boys were doing at one time but I wasn't going for Wiz Khalifa I was going for Christina Perry because at the time I was so obsessed with Christina Perry and her iconic blonde streak and at the time I really really wanted to do that and therefore I did and when it was freshly done I didn't really like it though just because it gave off too much of that Wiz Khalifa vibe but probably like a month later the streak grew out a little bit and then the blonde wasn't so like brassy I guess you can say and you know I kept it like that for as long as I could remember probably a good year 
up until I graduated in 2015, I had that blonde streak. I didn't even touch it up or anything. I just let it grow out and do its own thing. And then one year led to the other, and it turned into two years of having that blonde streak. So fast forward to May of 2016, I was like almost done with beauty school and I had the littlest amount of the blonde streak still left in my hair. So a few months after I graduated from beauty school and I received my license and whatnot, I had the urge to do something to my hair. I wanted something fun, something different, something spontaneous that I have never done before. So October of 2016, I woke up with the courage to dye my hair like Cruella de Vil pretty much. But instead of having, you know, like the white and black hair, I had purple hair and my natural hair color. To this day, that is still like one of my favorite hair styles I've ever had. I had my purple half head up until February of 2017. And that's when I decided that instead of touching up the purple side with purple hair dye, I went in with blue hair dye. So I didn't really touch up like the roots with bleach and then do the blue. I pretty much just touched it up with blue having my roots already like grown out. Eventually my roots ended up growing really really long to the point where like the blue side was looking weird. So I decided it was time to freshen up my split hair or my half head or whatever you want to call it. And I went in with a aqua blue. Unfortunately as much as I love the aqua blue half head thing I had going on. It only lasted me a month until I went in and decided to dye my entire fucking head with aqua blue hair dye. So yeah, I went ahead and I bleached my entire head. I mean, it looked cute, but it was a lot of maintenance because that aqua blue would fade so quick. It was so high maintenance that by the time it was July 2017, I was fed up and I had decided, you know what, I'm gonna slap back on that electric purple hair. And I did. Again, I didn't touch up my roots and it was really cute. I really enjoyed it. Having my whole head being purple, definitely liked it more than like the full head of aqua blue. It's weird, I liked the aqua blue half head but I didn't like the aqua blue like full head. As soon as we rolled into the following year, 2018, I surprisingly still had my entire hair purple. But then March of 2018 came along, my crackhead ass decided to completely strip out all of my purple hair. I used this hair coloring remover and I was blonde <laughs> after that. So pretty much for the whole month of March in 2018, I was blonde. But I was over having blonde hair within a week. But I didn't do anything about it right away. I gave it some time. The blonde hair I had wasn't my favorite, but surprisingly, it was my mom's favorite that I've ever had. She loved it when I had blonde hair. I personally don't think it looks good on me. And the reason why I even stripped out the purple hair dye to begin with was because I wanted lavender hair. But unfortunately, since the blonde was not even, it wasn't one solid blonde color. It had a lot of like patchiness, a lot of like bands from like previous like root touch-ups and stuff. It just wasn't gonna look good, sis. I don't know why I even did that. Um, I did go in with like a lighter purple in April of 2018. May 2018, I decided to slap back on that intense purple hair dye I originally had before I stripped it out. Like, why the hell did I do that? Who let me do that? And oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't gone bald. And within that same month, May of 2018, probably like a few weeks after I went back to that electric purple, I think it got to the point where I got so fed up with my hair in general that I decided, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna just dye my entire head black. Like who even let me? Like I am so mad at that, but we learn from our mistakes, do we? Yes, we do. So when I slapped on that black box dye on, um, I obviously had bleached hair, right? Because I had purple hair. I'm not a cosmetologist. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Within the next month, June of 2018, my hair started fading into like this gray color. Which is funny because I feel like the gray colors are the colors that a lot of girls or people in general at the time were trying to go for. I guess it was like very trendy. So I unintentionally had gray hair. That's when I realized your girl needed some professional help. So I had been following this girl on Instagram 
Instagram for the longest time ever. So I decided to hit her up and pretty much tell her like my history of my hair in hopes that she can probably help me out. By that time, honestly, all I wanted was just healthy hair. I had a consultation and whatnot. So after the consultation and everything, I set up an appointment with her for July of 2018, which is the month that I turned 21. And what we decided on was, you know what? We're chopping off the majority of my hair. My hair was pretty much down to like my hips and we ended up chopping it all the way up to above my shoulders. That was a lot, but that's how damaged my hair was from bleaching and the overlapping of bleaching and then stripping the hair color out just to throw more color back on and then to throw box dye on. It was just a mess. Like I said, who even let me, y'all? The color at the time was you know, the least of my concerns, I like, I just wanted healthy hair. All she did was just kind of throw in this very, very dark purple and that's it. All right, y'all, so my camera started to overheat so I had to stop filming for a bit and just let it cool down. Um, in the meantime, I just went ahead and just completely finished dyeing my hair, but I did not finish going over it through my entire timeline. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and finish up. Anyways, going back to the timeline, after that first visit, I decided to schedule another appointment for the following month to do my roots and do my entire hair purple again. I also had Betty Bangs, so those were cute. So after that last visit in 2018, I left my hair completely alone. March of 2019, um, I think I had gone in and she just trimmed my bangs and that's it, nothing else. So there's a cute little snap of me with my very outgrown hair and straight across bangs. And then July of 2019, which was last year when I turned 22, I decided to do something fun with my hair. So we touched up my roots again. I just decided to leave my bangs alone. I guess it was just because I was constantly just trimming them really, really short. I did an ombre of purple fading into red and that was really fun. I did it specifically for my 22nd birthday. It faded really fast, but it was really fun to have while it lasted, you know? So after that completely faded, I had came to the conclusion that I was no longer gonna chop my bangs anymore. I just wanted to grow them out, hence now. So in November of 2019, I went back again and she kind of cut my hair in a way that my Betty bangs will kind of grow out nicely and flow nicely into my hair. So she did give me a tad bit of layers and we also did this red wine hair color which is really really cute so from the holidays up till now as you can see I've been doing my own varieties of red hair um, sometimes I like to add some black into the hair dye to just make it a little darker and deeper but today I just went straight in with the red so who knows when I'll go back in for another appointment but pretty much that was the timeline of my hair so it's been a few hours. My hair is now dry and this is what it looks like. I didn't style it or anything because there's nothing going on today and there's no need to add heat onto my hair if there's no need for it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and you guys enjoyed watching or seeing my timeline of all my hair shenanigans. Let me know in the comments below what hairstyle or what hair color y'all liked on me from like my past or or if you guys like where it's at currently if I should do something again or what I should do in the future and we can't forget about socks of the day today's socks of the day are these ducks what's the story on these last year during Easter y'all know how like Walmart or like any stores bring out the peeps marshmallows for the festive days they had a specific pack where you buy your marshmallow peeps but then they include like a free pair of socks and me liking socks a lot and peeps. I chose that one over the box of just the peeps. <laughs> and yeah, I got a free pair of socks with my purchase of marshmallow peeps. <laughs> and that's it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!